What's up everyone, it's Jan Wars, new video and today I'm going to talk about Sliman again. I'm on Henrik Anda airport in Bucharest heading to Prague and because I have time to watch the video, I saw the pictures from, from the New Year's Eve, I would dedicate this to it. Anyway, I was also thinking about the France in general because you can watch my previous videos about the country, about uh, their songs, about their performances and I said myself well, let's let's not be so hard on France because I really think and I believe that they are doing amazing job throughout last four years even with the results which maybe are not that satisfying sometimes but honestly I was thinking about one word which would describe France at Eurovision last four years and that would be conservative of course maybe you're asking yourself like why Fulan? Fulan is definitely not conservative but I think also this was the last experiment I know I know I know it went through national selection but since then or before Barbara Pravivala, Lazara Evideman, now Sliman. It's all the very similar conservative, but let's say kind of goes from traditional French music. It's not a modern pop music which France can deliver. It's not a modern music France is now capable of making. But that's also not making it a rock music. Anyhow, it's just a different approach. It's maybe a safe approach and also Mon Amour, it's somehow in my head a mystery word to put it. Because if I go with Barbara Pravi, that was perfection. Of course you can check my video what I did and I I cannot say I didn't like it, but I definitely expect to be to go different path, you know, not this conservative path for France. But that's that's it. Objectively by videography or cinematography, by music, by the performance of the artist. It was amazing, complex, as we like to call, full package experience. Okay, full and that was a little bit step back, but not musically. I think only what killed it a little bit was the performance. And then also comes for Lazara, because uh, the song was okay, the staging was amazing, but again, the performance is the key. And I think with Sliman, the performance problem is not here at all. The only thing what is in my head is the song. Is it enough to win Eurovision? That's, we'll see. Is this enough for top 10? I think it's a big contender for top 10 for sure, maybe for top 5. But for winning, I'm not really sure about. But to be honest, I want to listen to this New Year's Eve performance because I saw pictures from it, it looks amazing and maybe I want to change my mind or maybe put myself a more accurate thought about Mon Amour. Oh, but first I need to take off my jacket, you know, it's crazy. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Here we go. Let's watch the performance together. The dress. The dress is great. And his live voice. This is such pleasant. It must be very cold over there, but the dress is amazing. Like he looks amazing. His voice is just inspiring, inspiring. They keep this circle set up. It's very similar from the music video live done. So this is something maybe we can count also at Eurovision. Oh my god, it's very charismatic. And this is epic, you know? Like if France can do something, it's definitely not minimalism. It's this epicness, big, you know, to show the scale. 
even it's very simplistic in the way of lights, very posh, very clean, very chic. Oh my god, but the voice, this is, this is a balsam. Uh, amazing artist, amazing performer, amazing singer. Ach, my god, this is so good. So this bridge now, all the, all the mucking of the mapping of the arc, the triumph. Amazing. Oh my god, this is so good. <laughs> look at this, look at this. Look at this. Such a perfect atmosphere. This is how you celebrate the New Year's Eve, right? It's a big, the big, the big pump. So good. But. There is some buts I need to share with you, even we really don't need to talk about the performance, right? The performance is amazing, but still there is the same concern. Is the song really that strong? It's strong because the artist first, that's you know what I'm telling. You can have perfect song with the artist who cannot sing it, you cannot succeed. So that's definitely not Sliman's case, for sure. We know that this guy, whatever song you will give him, you will just elevate it. But is Mon Amour enough for being elevated? Like definitely he brings joy. He brings the sound, the vocals, the atmosphere. He's the carrier of the song. He's selling it the best way possible. In my opinion, uh, with other artists who are not that vocal capable wouldn't be possible so this is a huge plus for France that this is not a case anymore for them like last year the only case is is the song good enough and that we will see at Eurovision in my opinion it needs a little bit more elevation it needs a little bit more drama it needs a little bit more the last third last 20% of the song to go upper to go somewhere else to surprise you which doesn't happening but maybe this is not needed this is the conservative way this is what France chose us and this is what for everybody from the first tone and that's why from the first very first tone the song will be understandable but maybe you don't agree with me maybe you agree with me write me in the comments below Give this video a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, share this video if you like it, I would be very glad, sharing is caring, and of course, Happy New Year again, watch my previous videos, watch my next videos, definitely there will be a, there will be a lots of them this year, very, very soon, so see you next time, thank you for watching, bye.